Good day and night to those of you who are viewing. To those of you who are not viewing, don't worry, you don't know that you're missing out. My name is Irrelevant and I'm going to be teaching you, I'm going to be tell, I'm going to be sharing with you how I came to know the shape of our home. Relax. Three short segments. Relax and let this sink in. It was a day like any other. I was with some friends. We were in a park. We were shooting hoops. Shooting hoops. Proficient. Now I was really never that proficient at hoop shooting. And I always suspected that it had something to do with the shape of our home. The earth. On this particular day, I was performing particularly poorly and just happened to notice something which blew my mind. After the ball came to rest in my hands, after my hundredth consecutive three-pointer, a fly buzzed into my world and landed thereupon. The ball. Suddenly, everything was a bit clearer, a bit more clear, a bit sphere. Suddenly I could see. Huh? After this day, I thought and saw hugely differently, on a whole new level or plane. It was like the truth, it was like the truth had been there all along. I had just been too busy to notice, to, no to notice. I had just been too busy to notice. So I began to search. Surely, there must be so I began to shoot. So I get. So I. So, bleh, bleh. so I began to search. Surely there must be some evidence. Some more evidence out there, hiding just over the horizon of my perception. Surely there must be some more evidence out there, hiding just over the horizon of my perception. Hiding just over the horizon of. Hiding just over the horizon of my perception. Sure enough, there was. Sure enough, sure enough, there was. A few years later, I stumbled across this image in a folio. I stumbled across this image in a folio marked The Truth. It was the only image. It was the only image. After that, there was no longer any doubt left. After that, there was no longer any doubt left. If I felt unsure, all I had to do was go back and experience firsthand once again. The truth. If I felt unsure, all I had to do was go back again, open the folio and experience for myself once again the truth. I'll now begin the third and final and deepest. I'll now begin the third and final deepest, most sensitive, most sensitive story of my experience with 
I used to have a dream. I had this dream quite often. I had this I had this dream quite often. I had this dream quite often. In the dream. My father. Would throw a ball in my direction. And I expected, and I expected that I was to catch it. Now this dream was not a pleasant dream. I would in fact call it a nightmare. I would even call it a nightmare. It gave me terror, you see. It gave me terror. You see, as the ball got closer, as the ball got closer to me, it grew in size, only slowly at first, but as it inched closer and closer, it got bigger and bigger and grew to be beyond the size of a planet. Only slowly, only slowly at first, but gathering breadth, but gathering breadth rapidly as, but gathering breadth more and more rapidly until it was beyond the realm of comprehension. But gathering breadth more and more rapidly until it was beyond the realm of comprehension. This sphere would grow so enormous on its journey to that size. This sphere would grow so enormous on its journey to me that it were the size of a planet. This sphere would grow so enormous on its journey to me that it This sphere would grow so enormous to me. This sphere would grow so enormous on its journey to me that it were the size of a planet. Keeping in mind that I was expected to catch this, keeping in mind that I was expected to catch this expanding weight, expanding weight, you can clearly see the root of this sphere. I still have this sensation sometimes. Now, though, I relish it. For I've experienced the terror of trying to meet expectation. Now instead, I relax. And allow myself to be crushed. And allow myself to be crushed. By the sheer magnitude of the... By the sheer magnitude of the immeasurable. Okay. 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 Now you know as well as I do that we live. Now you know as well as I do that we live on a spherical globe, spinning, hurtling, gravitous, gravitus. Now you know as well as I do that we live on a spinning. Now you know as well as I do that we live on a special globe, spinning, hurtling, gravitous earth, and that the idea of some flat earth, and that the idea of some flat earth is utterly preposterous. Is utterly preposterous. Thank you viewers, it's been real.